Holistic Solutions from the Blockchain Island. The Honorable Silvio Schembri explains what is being done on the Blockchain Island to cater for the influx of companies, from university grants to regulatory initiatives. The Honorable Silvio Schembri, Government of Malta. Good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. I'm very proud to be here. Thanks, Scott, for, for this very insightful presentation. I really enjoyed it. So good morning to all. It's a pleasure to be addressing you here today. Just a day after the most awaited blockchain laws were enacted on the 4th of July, which have been now put into effect. Operators, investors, entrepreneurs within the blockchain crypto sphere, you can now operate in a jurisdiction with a regulated environment which ultimately will provide you with legal certainty. I'm proud to say that Malta's agility and fast-moving advantage has put us on the epicenter of the blockchain industry. With other countries are now closely looking at what we have achieved in such a short period of time. We are providing the ideal ecosystem for the industry that is yet in its nascent stage to grow and become, within a few years' time, a strong contributor to Malta's economic growth. As a government, we are fully committed to put Malta on the map of technological innovation. We already have a strong ICT infrastructure, a very talented human capital that we are committed to continue to invest to sustain this skill force. But above all, we are driven by a can-do attitude. We come before you with a holistic framework that does not stifle innovation. This framework is based on three main pillars. That is market integrity, market stability, and consumer protection. Hence, for this reason, we established the Malta Digital Innovation Authority, which will be responsible for the regulation of innovative technology arrangements. As a government, we did our part. Now, we look forward for you to do yours. Your next step and important step is to apply for a license and make Malta your home. The pivotal service provider within these blockchain regulations is undoubtedly the system auditors. These auditors are individuals or legal entities which will act as the bridge between yourselves and the operators and the MDIA. The system auditors are responsible for undertaking audits on innovative technology arrangements in order to ensure that the standards issued by the Malta Digital Innovation Authority are actually being implemented in the innovative technology arrangements. It is also within the responsibility of the system auditor to undertake specific audits for other regulated activities under other national competent authorities, authorities such as the Malta Financial Service Authority, and for example, also the Malta Gaming Authority, depending obviously on the application that you're referring to. On the other hand, companies operating in virtual currencies in and from Malta will now need to obtain a license from the MFSA for their operations. Thus, an application for a license under the VFA Act shall be made slowly through a VFA agent. In this case, the VFA agent will act as the buffer between the authority and the industry. These agents are responsible to oversee that the operators are compliant with all regulations, obligations, in respect to the VFA Act, whilst also prepare and submit application to the financial regulator for a VFA licensing activity. All the rules and regulations presented by the MFSA were developed when taking into consideration the existing EU financial service legislation, referred to as MIFID. Also in relation to the provision of investment services, financial markets, and markets abuse regulations. Money laundering is a worldwide challenge that jurisdictions from all over the globe are being faced with. What Malta is going to implement goes above and beyond the DLT asset type falling within the fifth anti-money laundering directive. More specifically, all VFA agents 
and VFA services and all transactions between both fiat to crypto and crypto to crypto will fall under the scope of our AML directive. As a jurisdiction, we want to send a strong message that this industry to flourish, there is to be no tolerance to money laundering and financing of terrorism. We are aware that we are going into uncharted waters. Thus, we made sure to set up the necessary guidelines and standards in the best interest of the investors, operators, and customers, in aim to protect and strengthen the credibility, seriousness, and the reputation of the Mortis jurisdiction. Let us take, for example, the case of the Malta iGaming industry. For operators within the gaming industry, it is of great prestige for a gaming company to acquire a Maltese license. This is, so as what we have established, the highest standard in this sector. The same we intend to do for this new emerging sector. As a government, our vision goes beyond blockchain technology. Now that the laws are into effect, we have already set the ball rolling to explore new areas such as artificial intelligence. Just yesterday, in fact, in the presence of Sofia, which I'm sure a lot of you with us today had the pleasure to meet, we have launched the Maltas AI Task Force, where this task force will be entrusted to develop Maltas AI strategy, make Maltas a center of excellence for artificial intelligence, and create a neutral platform that encourages dialogue on challenges related to AI sector, and also assist us to making feasible recommendations to the government and policy form formation. This task force will also act to advise government through recommended areas for development within the innovative technology regulation framework and the AI ethics guidelines. During the past months, we managed to put Malta at the forefront of the blockchain industry. And concerning artificial intelligence, we intend to put Malta amongst the top 10 jurisdictions in the world. In this sector, we believe that Malta can serve as a test bed opportunity for disruptive technology. The digital aspect is like a chain. You cannot explore one aspect and leaving others behind. So technology advancements in various aspects take place at the same pace, one influencing the other. Malta is anticipating all these changes and development in order to become future-proof and home for businesses and investors in this sector. Malta's size does not limit our ambitions. To the contrary, we are using our size to our advantage. Just a decade ago, the Maltese island was best known as a holiday destination, and it still is, but however, our economy has evolved rapidly, registering the highest economic growth amongst our European peers. This means that we have moved away from a physical constraints, and we now aim to be amongst the movers and shakers in this space. To prepare the present and future generation for this economy, as a government, we are in constant discussions with education institutions and entities. This has led to the introduction to a specific blockchain courses at the University of Malta, the launch of a scholarship fund in DLT, and just recently, the government has launched the Meta Emergent Technologies Lab. In Malta, we are laying the foundations to leverage economic innovation, and hence, we are eager to know about your projects, to share with us your experiences and know-how, and to be part of Malta's vision in becoming a digital hub. We've come a long way, but look how far we have come to put Malta at the forefront of the technological revolution. I myself look forward 
to witness what these disruptive technologies will bring about. We are already witnessing the use of blockchain technology within the public service, which is providing better citizens experience. Now, with the launch of the AI task force, we are exploring what opportunities artificial intelligence hold for Malta and how we can make use of such technology to provide a better service to our citizens. In conclusion, I would like to thank everyone who is being part of our ambitious vision. I would like to thank Eman Police for this incredible initiative in regathering the blockchain community here in Malta. Malta, the blockchain island, is now your home. The legal certainty in our thriving economy is the ideal scenario for startups and already well-established businesses to see your projects come to fruition and continue to flourish. So, with great pleasure, I would like you to welcome to Malta the powerhouse of economic innovation. Thank you very much.